Four eight minute quarters. Region two basketball from Alma on Y101. We're ready to go. LJ jumping against Stewart. The Bulldogs nearly win the toss. DR Meadows tried to save it over near the baseline, threw it to Bacon, but Bacon threw it away, and DR gets it back, and he races down the right side of the court. Now passes left wing to Mobley. He loves to start off a game with a three or two, but this time he's covered up, so he runs off a screen, drives to the hoop, and dishes to Lewis. He'll try the three from the right wing, rattled the iron, rebound of Foster. Bacon County with the basketball, 23 seconds in. Watch Stewart, he's got the ball, he's driving into the paint, draws a double team, dishes it deeper to the bucket, and the ball is knocked out of bounds as he hit Merritt. And the Dogs punched it out, and the Raiders will inbound near their offensive goal down on the baseline, Merritt to trigger. Ball's caught by Peterson, he fires it out top to Nobles, he whips it right side, Stewart with the ball, guarded by Sims, now to Foster, back between the rings. Peterson, now here's Foster shooting a three swish. I'm telling you, he's got to be guarded. He was injured the last time the two teams played. 3-0, Bacon County. Mobley left wing driving to the baseline, takes some contact, throws up a shot, knocked to the floor, and we got a whistle. And a Bacon County foul. And Bacon County will inbound on the left sideline. 36 seconds remaining opening quarter. 11-5 Raiders, and they throw it away. Bulldogs have it, Blunt. Picked up the loose ball. Here comes Lewis into the front court. Dribbling left wing. Passing to D.R. Meadows. Three from the corner. Swish. D.R.'s averaging 14.8. Dogs down by a three. So they've hung in there despite the poor play offensively. 17 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Foster throws it into the corner. Snell puts up a three. Swish. Eight seconds for the Dogs to get off a shot, down by six. Here comes Meadows, not in a hurry. Three seconds, two, now he's got a hurry, long three in the air. It's gonna hit the front of the iron and that's it. After one quarter of play, it's Bacon County 14, Toombs County eight as we break on Y101. Pressure in the front court, but Tyrese Lewis, Raiders toss it out of bounds to the Bulldog bench. Here come the Dogs. Jalen Mobley dribbling. He's got his mouthpiece sticking out of his mouth. Now he fires a three in the air off the back of the rim and in. And the Bulldogs pulled it within one at 14-13. Raiders leading 21-16. Foster on the wing, throws it to Nobles in the right-hand corner. Now back to Foster on the give and go. He's underneath, missed a little short shot, reached out with the long arms, got it back and scored. He just reaches over everybody with the long arms at 6-5 and scores his eighth and ninth point of the game. Lewis passing to Fisser, out top Mobley, 4-3, swish! And the Dogs need some more of those. They've made three three balls, two by Mobley, one by Meadows. Bulldogs down before. Peterson scoops and scores, working down the right side of the lane. He's not a big guy, nobody there to contest the shot. Bulldogs down by six. As Fisser drives into the paint, had it knocked away by Brown. Now Peterson breaks away from everybody and drives and scores. The dogs get sloppy again. And now they're down by eight points at 29-21. Hermione Fisser on the left wing. A minute to play in the opening half. Mobley with a three from the left wing, swish. Now he's got 10 real fast, three three balls here in the second quarter. Dogs down by five. Nobody scored here in the third quarter. Tyrese Lewis, he's on the right side of the court passing to Sims. He drives the baseline, goes under and dishes to Mobley, and he scoops and scores. Good drive there by Sims, who always looks to pass, and he found Mobley cutting down the left side of the court. The Dogs pulled it within three. And a little short shot for Jalen in the paint. Now Stewart shoots a three, in and out. Rebound knocked to the floor, grab by Peterson. He's driving and stepping in there to draw a charge. It's Tyrese Lewis. He and Karis Harden do that repeatedly. Give up their body, take the contact to draw the offensive foul. Bulldogs tie the game at 14 in the opening half. Now a three ball with tied at 29 with 6-12 to play in the third quarter. Lewis in the front court. Now passing to L.J. Sims, who comes out high. Bacon County's in a 1-3-1 zone. Lewis to Sims between his legs. Mobley picks it up and shoots a three, and it's good. We got a tie game. 
Jalen has hit four three balls. He hit six last year at Alma. The most he's ever hit in the game is seven. He could do that tonight. Foster on the wing. That's despite shooting an air ball to three and another air ball and a shorter shot. But he's found his range. I think he likes shooting here based on what he did last year. Here's Peterson shooting a three off the front of the iron. Rebound grab by Sims. Long feed to Meadows. Jumps up in the air. Catches it on the right sideline near the Bulldog bench. Dribbles into the corner. Passing to Sims. Sims works it to the free throw line. Shoots and scores from about 13. And now the Bulldogs have their first lead at 31-29. Merritt on the right wing passing to Stewart in the corner. Throws a pass inside of Foster. Deflected by the Bulldogs. They're stepping into the passing lanes like they did early in the season. Dogs with the ball. Lewis down to Meadows. Makes a nice save. Drives and dishes to Sims. Sims on the three ball line passing to Lewis. He'll shoot a three and it hit the iron and just trickled in. Kind of a weird looking shot. The Dogs have run off some points here. And now they lead 34-29 with 4.51 to play in the third quarter. A five point lead for the Dogs and a timeout taken by Bacon County as we break on Y101. Can do that after the timeout. Bacon County with the ball. 4.51 to play third quarter. And the Toombs County Bulldogs lead Bacon 34-29 on the road tonight in Alma. The Dogs will be at home on Friday playing Benedictine on the road on Saturday playing Appling. Pass inside, deflected by the Dogs, picked up by Sims. Here he is, racing to the line, to the lane, lays it up and in. He didn't jam it, but he scores his second bucket of the third quarter to put the Dogs up by seven. And now he is eight. Side deflected, Foster tries to save it, does to Nobles, had his shot smushed, though, underneath by Sims. Meadows with the ball, driving, shows him the ball, goes to the hoop and scores. DR with five. And the Bulldogs lead by nine. At 38-29, what happened at halftime? Great speech. The Bulldogs have come out here a different team. There's a block by Alex Blunt on the drive of Nobles. Sims with the ball, no look pass to Mobley. Left wing three in the air off the iron. Rebound grabbed by Nobles for Bacon County. A three would have put the Bulldogs up by double digits. Looks at Blunt, covered up. Here's uh, Lewis popper to the hoop, missing the shot. Off the feed from Sims. Rebound to Bacon County, one shot and out. Pass to the baseline, Stewart shooting over Sims, no good. Rebound tapped up and in by Foster. His 11th point of the ball game pulls his team, the Raiders, to within three. All right, now Bacon County with a chance to take the lead. Peterson driving, dishing to Stewart, and he scores. And now the Bulldogs are down as Stewart scores his 12th and 13th point of the game. Dogs down by one, Sims dribbling down the left side is called for traveling because of that pressure. He normally helps out real well against the pressure. But that time, he's trying to make a long pass and call for traveling. The Dogs have lost their offensive momentum. When Sims picked up that third foul, he hit the bench, and that just messed up everything for the Dogs because they were in a good offensive gear at the moment. Pass to Stewart, intercepted by Sims. Can they get it back? Sims to Meadows, driving to the line, to the lane, puts it up and in, and a foul. Will it count? Nobles with the foul. And DR is going to shoot for the three-point play. He now has eight points. And the Dogs are back on top, 41-40. When the Dogs play good tonight, they move the ball around and get shots. When they play bad, they turn it over. They're down by three. They're down by four as the free shot drops. Stewart's up to 16 points. Scored 29 the last time the two teams played, including 15 in the opening quarter. Here's that backcourt pressure again, and the Dogs are having trouble against it. And we got a foul. That'll bail the Bulldogs out a little. They're going to have to inbound again and face it again. But at least that stops the 10-second count. And that is the sixth foul against Bacon. Inbound to L.J. Sims. He draws a double team, dribbles away from it. Now he gets another double team, passes left side, intercepted by Nobles off to Stewart. He's got an easy bunny, and he scores. That's not good. Dogs down by six because of this pressure. L.J. Sims throws a high pass deflected by Nobles, and it's going out of bounds. Top Jalen Mobley dribbling. 18 seconds to go. Lewis, somebody's got to shoot a three. Karis Harden from the corner does with 14 seconds. Hits some glass and drops it in. 
But just nine seconds remain, and the Bulldogs are down by six. So they need a steal, but they're not going to get it. Stewart right of the lane, shoots a short jumper, no good. Rebound to Sims with two seconds. He's dribbling down the left side of the court. The Dogs are going to lose this game. Final 55-49. They do not avenge a third region loss like they did against Metter and Jeff Davis. It looked like they might do it in the third quarter when the Dogs are playing their best ball of the game and outscoring Bacon 15-5. But I think a key was L.J. Sims picking up his third foul that he came out of the game. It changed the five on the court. It just seemed to change everything. The Dogs never took that nine-point lead into double digits. They led 39-34 after three, and then Bacon controls the fourth quarter. The backcourt pressure, the double teams really hurt the Bulldogs. They turned it over repeatedly, and they lose 55-49.